Good morning, guys and gals. I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 2. Yesterday, we defeated a boss, got a new kind of Pikmin, White Pikmin, and also got a new spray, the Ultra Bitter Spray. This time, we're going into a new area, because that's another thing we accomplished yesterday. We unlocked the ability to go to the Perplexing Pool, now that we know where it is. Let's go. Perplexing Pool. Possibly my favorite area of Pikmin 2, or even the series in general, because there, this area has so much to offer. It's expansive, and it reminds me of the reason why I stopped playing Pikmin 1. Good morning! The white Pikmin are lodged with the purple ones in my hole. The two types are sleeping well, and do not quarrel. I have made them most comfortable. You can call out the white Pikmin by standing in the light beneath me and pressing A. On a separate note, be wary of overworking yourselves. Taking a break can be courageous too. To retire for the day, early for the day, press start pause to access the radar screen, then press R. So like I said, it reminds me, very much so, of Pikmin 1. Because we've already encountered this, but it's the first time I'm making note of it. These areas are the same from Pikmin 1, and this actually further backs up the theory of, of this being Earth. Until I'm interrupted by a cutscene. Look, off in the distance, wild Pikmin! Can you see them, Captain Olimar? They're yellow Pikmin. You encountered them when you crashed on this planet, correct? It would be most helpful if they remember you, like the red ones did. Yes, most helpful. So as I was saying, this is actually an area from Pikmin 1. By looking at the map here, actually, you know what, no. I'm just gonna go this way and then show you. Those three circles. Oh no, Cheerwigs, kill him, kill him, kill him. I lost three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I didn't lose any. Okay, th these are basically male shear grubs that fly, but apparently they removed the thing where if they get a pick, if they get a hold of of the Pikmin, it's a guaranteed death. Maybe that was just Pikmin one, and I'm remembering incorrectly. Okay, well that's that's neat. I guess we're gonna leave those there. But yeah, if you, I look at the map here and what I I just uh, just saw, this is where I landed in Pikmin one, in a different area called the Distant Spring. And so yeah, this area is the is actually the distant spring. It's undergone a couple of changes. There's a little bit less water. Kill it. No, no. Don't. Okay. How did I not lose a Pikmin to the first Wallywog of the game? In Pikmin one, that would have killed my entire squad. <sighs> Whew. Okay. Okay. Wallywogs happened, and I'm a bit scared now because Wallywogs. I hate them. But yeah, this is the Distant Spring, and the Awakening Wood, which we were in last episode, is the the uh, Forest of Hope. So, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It isn't even area recycling, actually, because looking at this, at the, uh, the Perplexing Pool, it is completely different in terms of model, in terms of textures, so they didn't recycle anything, they just rebuilt the area. Okay, uh, let's... No. What it What was that? What was that? You you weirdy. That was okay. That was kind of special. All right, let's grab all these Pikmin and then grab this one and move on. All right. But it, it is really cool that they didn't just recycle areas. They they made a deliberate return to them. And it wasn't just to save budget. I, I really like that. Okay, so that is a swooping snitch bug, which is a, a new enemy. All it will do is pick up up to two Pikmin and then throw them into the ground. It's really that not that much of a menace. Uh, did I get it? Yeah, I did. And to defeat it, I just throw Pikmin at it and then weigh it down once it hits the ground. It's, it's really not all that difficult. Okay, there's a milk carton over here. Here, turn around. I don't want you throwing anyone in the water. Or just trigger a cutscene. 
What is this? A strange mold-like botanical entity has spread across the ground here. Interesting. I am detecting other plant life suff suffocating beneath it. Come on, turn around. Turn around, you milk carton. Ah, fine, you can't throw anyone in the water anyway. Not right here. Okay, he's dead. So this is mold, which is kind of odd that they devoted a cutscene to it. Normally you'd, you'd think that you'd just naturally attack it, but no, it gets its own separate cutscene. And what this does is periodically it'll grow over uh, the plants that produce berries, because there are two kinds of berries, I have to be broad. And so I have to trim down the, the mold and then it will allow them to grow. It's kind of interesting that they'll be taken over like that. Here, you do that. Meanwhile, I guess Louie will just go back to base? There isn't really a use for Louie here, which is kind of sad. It's also kind of the story of his life, I guess. So we'll just send him back to base. In fact, Louie, you can be productive. Throw a Pikmin on one of those pellets. There you go. But like I said, this is probably one of my favorite areas. Um, mainly just because it's so diverse. I mean, we've already seen there's a ton of water over there. There's some bathroom tiles, which is weird. There's some pipes in the the water. There's actually my favorite enemy right over there, or one of them. That is Molly. We'll be meeting Molly shortly. She's she's a nice girl. She's she's quite quite good to me. Okay, let's kill these these whisker pillars. Kill him. Kill him. In fact, uh, do I need? Let's see, I, I should kill them, but then I should put all of my most of my red Pikmin away. Because I don't need them, and if I'm going to be getting a new kind of Pikmin, then I definitely don't want all of these guys competing. Okay. Come on, come on. Reds, reds. Come on. You have to defeat an enemy, then you're you're going away for the day. Alright, so this enemy is speaking of my favorite enemy, this is one of my least favorites because this thing scare is scary. This is the Fiery Bull Blacks, and it looks like a burn victim. It's terrible. It's it's absolutely terrifying. It's all malshapen from its own fire. It has one eye that's smaller than the other, and it has fire that hurts. Ow. Okay, you guys can just leave that there. Yeah, it fire hurts, guys. It's, it's not a fun thing. All right, there's a treasure there, which I actually cannot grab. Uh, I'll just have these Pikmin work on the rocks. Uh, the rocks are just like the the grass which we've seen earlier. They'll they'll yield nectar. Okay, so let's put all of my red Pikmin away. I don't need any of them. And there was poison over there. I think I, I heard the sound. I just didn't see it. So I think we need whites. If I recall, there's a gate that's that's poisonous over there. Like I, like I said, I heard it, but I did not see it. I heard it, but I did not see it. So we'll take them. And yeah, we have a couple of reds, but that's fine. And we have some nectar prepared for our new yellow Pikmin. And yeah, we're we're getting our, our next Pikmin, guys. Now sadly, that gate will take forever to take down, since it it is poison, so we can only have 15 Pikmin working on it. Uh, so I guess I, I can spray my Pikmin. Okay, you guys. Get sprayed, and they can work on that. Meanwhile, I guess I can have these ones work on the berries, I guess? Are you guys, are you back? Why are you back? Why on earth would you come back? Yeah, you better, you better leave. Kit, die, die. Yeah, I'll show you. And actually, you stay on the lookout. I love how he knows somehow, even though he doesn't have white Pikmin powers. Okay, how's that gate coming? Is it halfway done? Almost? It's a third of the way done. And Louis still has nothing to do. Like, what? what is he even supposed to do? I guess he can go over here and grab these reds? And then bring them somewhere? Bring them over the berries, I guess? Maybe? But there's really no reason. We'll just have him like, do this, maybe. Do nothing. <laughs> okay, move. Uh, how's this coming? You know what? I'm, I'm gonna burn another spray on this because I wanna get 
a really good start to these yellow Pikmin numbers. And this gate is in my way, man. I can't get up any other way. This is the only way. Break down the gate, please. All right. It looks like that Whisker Pillar is a bit shy because he's not really interested in... Oh, and these are gone. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Let us... Glitchy health bar. What are, what are you, a burrowing snagret? All right, yellow Pikmin, whistle them, let's go! Isn't it adorable? We already have an, a fourth kind of Pikmin on, what is this, the fifth day? I think it's the fifth day. The yellow Pikmin have climbed down the tree and are staring in this direction. They appear to be li to like high places and seem to be quite light. They also have very large ears. If I had named them, I would have called them Ear Pikmin, but I will use the name Olimar gave them. Curious, my static electricity sensors are reacting violently. What could this mean? So, in Pikmin 1, these guys' special ability was... was carrying bomb rocks and being able to be thrown high. That is it. Whereas in this game, you can't use Pikmin to pick up bomb rocks. That is a feature in Pikmin... in uh, Pikmin 3 and 1, but not in this game. So they had to give them something. So now, they are immune to electricity, which is kind of useful. Actually, it is useful because electricity is the worst hazard in the game. Uh, it is the only one that can insta-kill, well, besides crushing, if you want to call that a hazard. Electricity insta-kills Pikmin. So technically, it's the most dangerous hazard in the game. So these guys are immune to that, which is pretty useful, actually. All right, let's get the Pikmin onto this, and it looks like we have enough time to, to gather everything we want to. Come on, grab the bull blacks. There you go. Do I have any yellows left? I do. All right, uh, throw, throw three of them on there, and I guess that that brings me, that gives me an opportunity. What are you, what are you doing? Grab that. It gives me an opportunity to talk about how the prioritize prioritization of Pikmin works because normally when you throw the purples or the whites onto an enemy they will carry it back to a random onion because they don't have an onion of their own and so what they do here instead you get on that what they do here instead is they will take it to whatever Pikmin holds the majority when carrying it so if there are two reds and one yellow carrying something then it will go to the red Pikmin onion. If there are five, or if there are five whites and one yellow carrying something, it will go to the yellow Pikmin's onion. Which is, it makes sense. And they use the oh hello lag. They use the color of the ratio above the item or carcasses being to indicate what onion it is going to. All right, uh, let's get. Let's get that back to the onion. Uh, flower these Pikmin, and then have them carry back... What is that? A spa it's not a spatula. What even is that? Is it a bo It's a bottle opener, isn't it? I think it is. Okay. As a child, I always thought that was a spatula. Oh, snap. I always thought that was a spatula, because it kind of looks like one, but it clearly is not. Okay, you guys get up there. And you... I can clearly demonstrate how these Pikmin can fly much higher. Come on, get up there. I don't have time for this. No, get up there. There you go. Good job. All right, we'll take these Pikmin around. Um, let's see. Grab these. These will be more beneficial. Uh, go grab the Wally Wog, I guess. We barely have enough time to do this, but I think we we can. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then. Cool, the rest on this. Neat. Okay, carry that back, and we should be in ship shop shape. Ship shop shape? Ship shape? I don't know. But the yellow Pikmin numbers are... How many do we have? It doesn't say. We have a lot, though. We definitely have a lot. Okay, Louie, you're going to help me p uh, pluck some Pikmin here. And we have our treasure. I'm glad that we got one, at least, today. It's worth 50, and it's called... The Impediment Scourge. Okay. It's the Scourge of Impediments. Makes sense. It's a very scary name that strikes fear into, into man and beast alike. Get over here, Louie. 
You can be, be better in every way. All right, we have yellow Pikmin. We didn't accomplish much in terms of treasure, but I'm completely fine with that. You guys know that whenever the completion, uh, the completion thing shows up on screen, I, I kind of die a little bit inside because I don't want this game to end. I love Pikmin too. Okay, make sure no Pikmin are out. There are a couple there. What is that? Oh, it's they're carrying back the thing. I, I was like, why is there a question mark on the map? But no, it's a. Uh, they're carrying back something. All right, let's have them carry back those things over there. Uh, get some Pikmin working on this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We don't have time for this. Now, I'm, I'm curious, how does this work? Uh, because does this count as a base? And if so, what is the radius? Come on, Pikmin. Uh, e come on. Yeah, yeah. Let's just lead them away here. I don't have time to flower everyone. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, check the map again. We have seven seconds. Okay, those Pikmin are good. I have no clue how the game treats this onion as a base. If Pikmin underneath it are safe, and if so, what is the radius? So I'm just going to play it safe and whistle all of them. Come on. Come on. You're stuck. Get over here. All right. And then pluck some Pikmin. And I guess we'll return here to tomorrow to pluck the rest of them. Because that is a very productive day. We got one treasure, but we got a ton of yellow Pikmin. In fact, they may even outnumber reds at this point. I'm not sure. We definitely got a lot. Whew! That was kind of a, a jam-packed day. But I'm overall satisfied with it. Also, that means that that is probably the last episode I need to record for my illness. Because... I don't want to record ep more episodes while I am sick because it, it hurts, to be honest. And also, I sound like I'm going through puberty again. So I will spare you guys that, and hopefully next episode will be a batch that I am completely well. Alright, how many yells did we get? Oh, we got 78. Wow. Wow. We also broke the 200 mark. And so tomorrow, I guess that can be a yellow Pikmin day. I like to have all of my Pikmin above 100. Obviously, except for the the purples and whites, because that's kind of hard. But I should be able to do that tomorrow just by harvesting a couple of enemies. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I guess there's more to see. Ulamar, terrible news! I thought I went to the Happy, happy Hokitate Savings and Loan, but it seems my loan came from the shop next door. The all-devouring black hole loan sharks? Okay. <laughs> That's not good. Well, I, I, that, I can't really help you there, buddy. Except to get more treasure. Thank you guys so much for watching. That'll be it for tonight. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make tomorrow so that you would like it. I release new days of Pikmin 2 every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another exciting episode where we might actually be going I think we might be going back to Awakening Wood yeah I think we will maybe we'll see though see you guys tomorrow Alright, we have the other half, which is called Geographic Project- Wait, what was the other one called? What? What was the other one called? I don't remember. This hemisphere-